Tacoma looks to deliver its narrative in a remarkable way, making for one of the most interesting ID Xbox titles releasing in 2017. Here are our initial thoughts after getting hands on at GDC 2017. Tacoma made its public debut more than three years ago, showcased as a part of the Game Wars 2014. Coming straight off the back of the critically acclaimed Gone Home, the game's developer Fulbright found itself in the limelight with a brief teaser. Having gained a reputation for telling compelling narratives, Tacoma looked to be a promising successor to one of the best story-driven indie games of this generation. For those who know Tacoma from its initial reveal trailer, the game's recent change in artistic direction is hard to ignore. Swapping out its 1920s style in favour of modern space age design, the project has taken on a cleaner style that puts technology at the forefront of its world. Your body positional data has been registered with Tacoma's AR network. Assuming the role of Amy Ferrier, an AI communication specialist, players explore the seemingly abandoned Tacoma space station. Tasked with recovering data, our demo opened with Amy entering the facility and exploring the remnants left behind by its crew. With an augmented reality system tracking a crew's every move, Tacoma delivers its story in a unique way, using holograms. Hooked up to the station's archive of augmented reality recordings, players encounter the echoes of the crew's previous actions, watching them unfold in real time. With no foresight into why the station was abandoned, players uncover Tacoma's secrets through the holographic trail left behind by its crew. Like the developer's previous work, Tacoma's unusual approach to storytelling appears to be a huge part of the game's appeal. Using augmented avatars that bear no emotion, the game's writing and voice acting play major roles in conveying a compelling narrative. While this method of delivery may pose some risks, the story it rides on will have a huge bearing on the game's success. For now, kick back and watch a short playthrough of our hands-on session with Tacoma. For a more in-depth preview, click the link in the description for a closer look on Windows Central. I've been Matt Brown, thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. AR recording. All activity records become sole property of the Venturus Corporation. Any questions about privacy or personal privacy should be in the So, you really miss it, huh? Well, it just seems like it'd be strange being back on Earth already, after only a year up here. Really? After all I've had to hear from you about the conditions VT has us working under? Yeah, but there's that. And then there's this. Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. You know, I think I might go get that done. Okay, yeah. I probably should too. Oh my god, wait. Is today obsolescence day? Yeah.
believe it. Well, you told me we get renewed. Yeah, but I meant us, us, not the whole crew. I guess there's just something special. Something special about Tacoma Crew 88. Yeah, not just special, it's unprecedented. I looked it up, it's never happened before. Well, everything happens once. I don't know, personally, I'm happy for us. Happy to be stuck up here with these people for another year. Some of them. Some of them aren't as pissy as you. I, what's so bad about these people? Well, they live in a tin can, for one thing. I think it's a pretty nice can. I think you have a pretty nice can. Yeah, oh, yeah? Well, I think you have a pretty nice can. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>